Hello everyone. My name is Princey Kishore Dubey from SYBSC Physics, CK Thakur College, Autonomous, New Panvel. And today I am going to discuss on the topic the universe in a nutshell. Beginning of everything that begin, that is the origin of universe. Now, how this topic came in my mind? One night, I was just peeping out of my window, looking at the beautiful sky full of stars and a bright and a strong moon. Suddenly, a question came in my mind that how this universe came into existence. As I am a very curious girl, I googled regarding it at that same very moment and came to know regarding the three theories of the origin of universe. First is the Big Bang theory, according to which the whole universe was thought to be evolved from a nutshell. Second is the steady state theory, according to which the universe was never born. It has no origin. It was existing long before. Third is the pulsating theory, according to which the universe keeps on expanding and contracting. But you know what? The most acceptable theory was the Big Bang theory, discovered by Sir Georges Lemaitre. Sir was an astronomer, physicist, mathematician, priest and professor by profession. So let us go into the detail of this Big Bang Theory. So the story here goes like approximately 13.7 billion year ago, the universe exists in a size of small atom. It was as small as an atom containing whole universe in it. Within this small atom sized universe, it was having infinite temperature and infinite density. But due to some unknown reason, this small atom-sized universe underwent a cosmic explosion. And for the very first time, an explosion led to the birth of each and everything that exists today. When the explosion done, the quarks, electrons, other particles along with the charged particles came out of it. And the universe started expanding and cooling down. On further cooling, the quarks combine together to form the proton and neutron. Basically, an atom consists of three things, proton, neutron and electron, in which the proton and neutron combine together to form the nucleus which is situated at the center of the atom and the electron revolves around the nucleus. So the proton and neutron formed out of the quarks combine together to form the atoms of hydrogen and helium. And when these atoms of hydrogen and helium combine together along with some dust particles, galaxies form. And on formation of such billions of galaxies, these galaxies cluster together under the force known as gravity. Now in this way galaxies form. If talking about stars and planets, so these gases and dust particle combined together and started contracting. On further contracting, these contracting clumps was too cool to produce the visible light. So these contracting clumps keeps on contracting and its size decreases. As its size decreases, its density increases. And as its density increases, its temperature also increased. And when the temperature at the center of this clump rose above 10 million degrees Celsius, the atomic nuclei began to fuse. And this onset of a nuclear fission marked as the birth of the star. So in this way, the stars formed. And slowly everything got arranged as per their gravitational pull. And this is how our universe looked today. So as I told you that I was searching regarding the Big Bang Theory, I got this many information. And on, and on finding out such many information, I slept dreaming about the beauty of the universe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.